Um, let's talk about quantum tunneling. This is kind of one of the most bizarre things, right? When we look at alpha particles, there's a very strange thing that becomes apparent, okay? We can actually plot the energy curve of an atom, right? And there's something actually called alpha capture. So all these reactions we can pretty much reverse. If we give an alpha particle enough energy, we can actually get the nucleus to, to gobble it up, right? And if we do that, this thing here, remember that an alpha particle is positively charged and a nucleus is positively charged. So if we graph the energy, the potential energy of putting that alpha particle back into the nucleus, this is what the curve does, is it goes up, 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 up. And that's because what the voltage is, what kq over r, this is the coulombic repulsion, right? So we have to push it up, 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 up. And at some radius here, this is the radius which you have to, you know, to penetrate the nucleus, we have to get to that radius, right? At some radius, the strong nuclear force grabs that alpha particle and sucks it in, okay? But be outside of that, because remember, the strong nuclear force is this short-range force, right? So we push the alpha particle up, 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 and we have to get it to this energy here to get it into the nucleus, okay? But when the alpha particles escape from the nucleus, when, it, when they undergo a random alpha particle, you know, uh, uh, alpha decay, they escape and they, have, they mysteriously have this much energy, right? We can measure their energy. We send them through magnetic fields. We measure their radius of curvature. We can measure their velocity, therefore their energy. And they don't have nearly enough energy to have come over the top of the barrier. They've only got this much energy, right? So this was a great mystery. It's like, how, how can these things possibly escape when they should, you know, they should, what should happen, right, is that, you know, somehow in the nucleus, the alpha particle gets to this amount of thing. And just like water pouring over a dam, it, it you know, escapes. And by its velocity, we've got, you know, it should have this much velocity, right? But it doesn't. It's got this much. So here's what we think, well, this is what we know is happening, right? Is that it somehow gets through this. Now, you know, the, the tunneling, the notion of tunneling is that it somehow digs a tunnel through here, right? But that's not at all what's going on. What's going on is it's just the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Remember that the energy of small objects is uncertain. It's not like conservation of energy, right? Okay, so what is it? It's greater than or equal to uh, Planck's constant over four pi, right? Okay, so this means that for very small amounts of time, the energy can be quite variable, right? Well, how much time do you need? Well, not much, this is not much distance here, right? Okay, so there's a finite probability that an alpha particle will get a, a energy that it doesn't really have, right? And it, it, it only has it for this brief period of time, time enough to get across that barrier, right? And then it gives it back, right? So this thing is sitting here, it's got this random energy, right? And it, it, you know, really it goes over the top of the barrier, right? And all it needs is that energy long enough to get over the top and then it gives it back. That's a weird thing, isn't that weird? That's weird, okay? This is a purely random quantum event, okay? So when you hear that Geiger counter go bing in front of the classroom, Okay, when I show you this demonstration, right? When you hear that thing go bing, that just means that an alpha particle in the nucleus got energy it had no business having, escaped through a potential barrier it had no business getting around, okay? And then gave the energy back as soon as it was on the other side. This is strange physics, isn't it? And then the other weird thing about it is that you cannot predict when that's gonna happen. This is a purely random event. This is exactly the, the kind of dice that Einstein believed God did not play with, right? Um, and not only is it that we can't predict it because our theory is inadequate, it's that it, there is no theory. It cannot be predicted. Okay? There is no hidden variable theory that's going to, to predict the decay of an alpha particle. It's just purely random. Um, sorry about your brain.